There's a reason Jay-Z has lots of Beauvais timepieces, and that's because after the hype, when you've had all the watches, but you've fallen in love with the craft of classical Swiss watchmaking, and you know that a watch doesn't change who you are, you go seeking a brand that can co-create something special that reflects who you are, and that's where Bove lives. Now I've thought about how best to tell the story of Bove, and it's through their watches and it's through the simulation of one watch journey. Now this is a brand that creates only 1200 timepieces a year and 30 to 40% of those are custom made for clients that could be potentially like me. The brand was founded in 1822 in three locations, London, Guangzhou in China and Fleurieu. Now the reason Guangzhou comes into the equation is that these watches were made in Switzerland, sold in London, and then imported by China and Guangzhou. And they were pocket watches, which is why Beauvais has that distinctive pocket watch design. So I said to the Beauvais team, what if we simulated me ordering a watch and then me choosing the parts of the process of creating that watch that I want to see? And they said, well, that, that's what happens. That's how these clients and customers and collectors actually go on the process with Beauvais. It's an act of co-creation. So this journey that we're about to go on is one that you two could take. However, you could choose the points of the watch's creation that you want to see. So, caveat, these are just mine. So your first stop will be this very long glass table in this immaculate, ornate 14th century living room where you will discuss your ideas and you will propose to Mr. Raffi what you're thinking. That might be a watch that you wear on the dashboard of your car, on your desktop, on a pocket watch chain, or on your wrist. All of this folklore and all of this tradition ensconces you when you visit Beauvais locations. There are no other ghost locations at Beauvais. There's a manufacturer in Tremolant, and then there's the castle where you will pick up your watch under the kind eyes of Mr. Pascal Raffi, who will probably shout you lunch as well. So, Tramelan, this is the Bove manufacture where the watch begins its life in its most rudimentary form. Now, the part of this process that most interests me is not the case, but the movement. And the regulating organ in that movement, uh, called the balance, has a hairspring that is actually manufactured by Bove. They are one of less than 10 companies able to manufacture a hairspring. And this is a little spot I think we should jump in on and learn more about. Bove are one of less than 10 manufacturers in Switzerland that can take basically a guitar string and stretch it to a point where it is as thin or thinner than a human hair. We're gonna go inside and see how that happens. Okay, so what's happening here in Dr. Evil's very evil lair is that we're taking that heavy gauge steel that is a very precise alloy, placing the cartridge here, and then it goes through a stretching process through five rings of reducing thickness each time. That then is spooled onto these spools here. It then eventually ends up on another cartridge here. And then that cartridge goes back to the start. We change the rings and we do it nine times. Nine separate times of five rings. 45 rings reduce that guitar string down to a hairstring. And the story of the hairspring doesn't stop there. There's something so curious and idiosyncratic about Beauvais when they're constructing their balance. That is that they take the hairspring from the machine you've just seen and then match it up with a balance wheel that is perfectly weighted for that hairspring. And that's a process that Vasco Battista is a master of. Look, now one of the key moments in assembly that just blows my mind and that I want to see forever caught on film is the moment that a watch goes from a few components of steel to something that is living and breathing. We then come over to this station where we get to see the ultrasound taking place. This is the ultrasound moment for a watch. I've never seen this happen live for a watch that I might own. And frankly, it's giving me flashbacks to watching my three daughters on ultrasound and seeing them, their hearts beating for the first time. 
and we're just placing this perfectly. You can see that hairspring stretching away as the watchmaker places it on here. And there we go, there we go. The system works. <laughs> Now, this isn't the beginning, now that the heart is beating of this watch and it's gone from something that was inert to something that lives, it now begins a health check, just like an ultrasound with a newborn. We will now place this movement on a time grapher or a similar uh, machine that tests accuracy and move it into six positions and see how well the watch goes. Now I'm a little bit torn. I don't know yet if I want to pursue a skeletonized piece, which speaks to Bobe's heritage in skeletonized pocket watches, or whether I want to play around with some of these crazy dials, because Bobe is a verticalized manufacturer, including dials. I spotted this room and I had to bring you in. Bobe is one of the few brands that is actually also a dial manufacturer. So they create all the dials themselves downstairs. And really, there are so many options. If you're into unusual dials, if you're into unusual dial materials, come on, come a little closer. We have gear shade dials in all kinds of different colors. We have mother of pearl. We have miniature painting on mother of pearl. We have quartz dials. We have carbon fiber dials. There's aventurine dials here, beautiful sparkly aventurine. We have meteorite dials and silver and black. Just about any color, any treatment you can think of. Bovey can do that and complete something pretty unique for the most important part of the watch, which is its face. Okay, so tough call, but I am gonna go skeletonized because I have just out of the corner of my eye at Tramalan noticed this absolutely mind blowing craft happening right before my eyes. This is something that I'm gonna to wanna to look at every single day. So I want to propose that the Virtuoso 11 be the timepiece that goes through this journey for me. And I want to propose that the watch I receive at the end of this journey is the main plate that I'm about to put under the scalpel at this very skilled set of hands. Now, one of the processes that I would have to have documented is the engraving of the main plate. Now this is something you can see here happening in two scales. When you look over the shoulder of this incredible artisan that's engraving here, you see the minute scale that this woman's working at. And yet here we see the magnification and you get to see the perfect, I mean, this is just crazy to think that the, the scale of this plate is so tiny and yet this is the level of perfection that is going to be furrowed into your exact main plate. Now, these guidelines here are what become these perfect symmetrical swirls. And this tool that is being used is in fact really narrow and tiny. And yet here we go, into this imperfect guideline comes a perfect engraving. And that is what will live forever on your watch. Now, of course, you're not gonna see this with your naked eye because this is the size of the main plate on your watch. However, you're going to know, looking down at these furrows in the main plate, that you saw them being made and you knew the person who made them. Now, Beauvais require your watch to be made not by a team of watchmakers, but by one. So I went to meet the individuals that are likely to be behind your watch. thing about this room is that it is not a case of your movement moving from station to station it is with one watchmaker from A to Z it could be Morgan it could be <laughs> Gregory you could ask for a happy snap of the watchmaker with your movement before it gets cased at the castle of your dreams Here we are, the final stage. I've got a question for you. What do you get if you cross NASA with a 14th century castle? The answer is this place. Look at it. 
We have all the exposed beams of the original castle, but we have all of this extra machinery, including my favorite part, these perforated tiles. The whole time this place is in operation, there is actually dust being sucked out of the air through these perforated tiles. And that's because dust is the enemy. We are amongst watchmakers who have the final critical stage of taking that regulated movement that has come to them from Tremolan and casing it in a dust free environment, first regulating it a second time, making sure that it's accurate, and then subjecting it to a battery of tests before you get to the glory stage that Julian's doing right now, which is the final casing. Now, one important detail, if you've been paying attention, you will have noticed that when, when we saw this, this very watch, this exact watch being engraved, the main plate being engraved back in the Tremolan manufacture, you would have noticed that it was brass or that it was gold colored. So since then and now, we've had this main plate rhodium plated, which gives it that same white gold luster as the case. Okay, so you're not gonna believe what happens next. Both of timepieces range from 30,000 to 1 million euro. That means that tripping down the stairs when you're carrying it is gonna be a very expensive mistake. So, they created this little delivery machine, an elevator that carries watches up and down to save you from the embarrassment, the financial ruin of making that mistake. And now the grand finale. It might've been six months, it might've been 12, it might've been 24. Some of these watches take years and years to complete, but there is one common denominator. They are all handed over in a particular fashion by a man who owns that process because he owns the brand. It's Mr. Pascal Raffi in another part of the 14th century castle that we're about to visit right now. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Mr. Raffi. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? <laughs> nice to welcome you that's a, here that's at a the castle. Handshake. <laughs> please, please, Andrew, come with me. Well, this is the one part of the castle I haven't seen yet. Tell mm -hmm. me, where are we right now? You are discovering right now a beautiful summary in this museum of 200 years of the unique patrimony of the House of Beauvais. Mm -hmm. Since 200 years, this house has been able to compose the two main elements of a beautiful timepiece for me, beautiful mechanics, mm -hmm. and then the way you dress the timepiece, the case, the strap, the buckle, the hands of the timepiece, everything is so important and every single detail is crucial. And then it becomes a harmonious work of art. This is the place where you can discover from 1822 to 2023, the unique craftsmanship of the House of Beauvais. Now, I want to ask you, do I look like a Beauvais customer? I have to tell you, sharing with you, <laughs> speaking with you, and uh, reconsidering uh, what is the most important, we are talking about true luxury. Mm -hmm. True luxury has to be of unique identity with small quantities mm -hmm. and essentially handcrafted, the human touch. Then are you a perfect Beauvais collector? I have to tell you, yes. And I give you the answer why. Why? A Beauvais yeah, timepiece is, is not a code of social recognition. Mm -hmm. You're not putting your bank account on your wrist. Mm -hmm. You're putting your education on your wrist. And all what we shared together okay. has been about life, values, mm -hmm. principles, the essence of life and the beauty of time, that true luxury in our lives. Mm -hmm. So I think, yes, we are sharing the same values. That's a win for me. Uh, I've been simulating this process of being a customer and I've, I've chosen moments along this journey that I want to see mm -hmm. in, in the creation. I'd say co-creation mm -hmm. of a watch. I can see it out of the corner of my eye over, over there. I think it's over there. I'm gonna try and stay, stay focused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now tell me, what, is this what would happen if I really was a customer? If I, if I had gone through this process of working on a Virtuoso 11 with some of my own touches, is this, can you take me through what would happen? We've just come in, you've welcomed me, what happens now? Luxury, again, is about emotion. Mm -hmm. Collectors do discover through social media, through 
a timepiece in a point of sale. And then they say, what is the novelty of Beauvais? This mm -hmm. year, mainly, it's the Virtuoso 11. Mm -hmm. And knowing that they are educated, they know nearly everything about the house. Start in the brain to say, we do know, I do know, that the House of Beauvais bespokes more than 30% of the annual production, which is limited on purpose mm -hmm. to 1,000 timepieces. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful journey, the human journey starts. Ideas, scent, you consider. And for months and months, you're trying and you're bringing the collector to what would be elegant, delightful, without taking out any of the beauty of the Virtuos 11 as we thought it at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And after months and months, even through Zooms. And you do this personally, by the way, as in if I say I've seen the, the bones of this watch, but mm -hmm. I want to add different engraving, I want to add uh, guilloche to, the, to, to, to an element, I want to add uh, a different material. Mm -hmm. So this is something that, this is so unusual. To be the, the owner of the brand is the person, the designer that will work with you. Mm -hmm. Is that this is true? Absolutely. Ideas always come from this home place, from the courtyard of the castle, where in the evenings, I consider the chart of the planets. I consider what the beauty of nature is, smells, colors, lights. And then what is very important is to have a timepiece which is perfectly balanced. When you have all this in your mind, you go to the facility and you start sharing your passion with your artisans. Is it engineering? Is it about the watchmakers, the decoration department, up to the hairspring, the stamping? Mm -hmm. And all this beautiful journey of time starts and comes to the end, okay. the timepiece on your wrist. Can we do that part now? Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. Andrew. And here, dear Andrew, it's a moment which is very important. I'm going to put my gloves. Getting a bit too much into this, by the way, because I genuinely, genuinely feel like I'm about to get a watch that's worth between two hundred and eighty and three hundred and forty thousand dollars. I have to tell you, we don't <laughs> need watches in our everyday life. Our mobiles give us the time. That's true. We need a true timepiece mm -hmm. to get that smile of emotion. And here we are discovering the beautiful Virtuoso Eleven, and also the ability through this beautiful box to discover the other side of the timepiece and this true skeleton, hand-engraved movement. A rewinding system which is patented and allows you to rewind 10 days of power reserve in less than two minutes. The cage of the tourbillon and the tourbillon itself is patented, it's a flying tourbillon, with the escapement on the backside, as you can see, through this the is a mirror. very clever box here. If Absolutely. You this, yeah? And then on the main side, you're going to have the balance wheel and the hairspring. It brings you a better balance between the cage and then a better chronometry. Then you're going to have the unique shape of the design of the Fleurier line, the bow, and the case which has a little angle at noon of four degrees. All the movement is a true skeleton. It is skeletonized in the facility where you discovered Coraline and her colleagues, and it takes a full week to hand engrave one single movement. A pure skeleton timepiece, beautifully balanced, for your pleasure. And how does the client usually react? Keeping humility as the essence of my life, shared with my artisans 100% of the time. I promise you, the little smile of emotion comes to the face of our collectors. It means that after all this journey, finally they discover that beautiful work of art, which is also a skinny item, mm. and they live with it. This is all about true watchmaking art. You're watching what the experience you would have. There is pride in delivery. There is knowledge of the, of the watch, intense knowledge there is involvement in the design. Is this what you signed up for? Or is this more than you signed up for? Because I, seem, I see a very happy man. Why I'm delighted, always positive. Because every time we do bespoke a timepiece, we think a development, we tune an engineering. We already have the idea for the step further. And that step further keeps passion always alive. Strengthen every morning. We say to ourselves, 
let's try to do a little more. And this is all about not a company with employees, but a true house with a family, extended family of artisans to please the collectors everywhere around the world. Art is universal. And it's about a watchmaking house, not only of art, but of arts at plural. The art of engineering, of crafting, thinking, behaving, it's an education. Is the real will to share with a collector moments of life and not business meetings. This is all about the House of Bove, and this is why you are presently in a house which belonged to the Bove family yes. 200 years ago. What is the next interaction? The next thing is that you are discovering, feeling, tuning your timepiece. And then it's very emotional, not only for you, but for us also. We spent months or years sometimes to tune it. Please understand that when we did the Rolls Royce timepieces, it's the only mechanical tourbillon timepiece on the dashboard of a car with four different positions. The wrist, the dashboard, the table clock, a true pocket timepiece. It was about engineering. You cannot imagine the true emotion of this very much true collector when he got his timepiece, fix it on the dashboard. Why? It's about also vibrations, shock tests, the weight. We had so many contingencies and even the mounting system on the dashboard of the boat tail. We, tu we tuned it, we engineered it. So it was a moment like today, discovering the timepiece and saying, I would love now to put it on the dashboard. So for you, perhaps to put it on your wrist. And the last step is myself signing your authenticity and warranty certificate. It means for me, the timepiece now becomes yours. Wow, well, we don't do that today, unless, unless we, I mean, it's there. You could sign the watch over to me if you like, but then unfortunately it would be legally mine, I think. <laughs> so I have to tell you, we discovered together the way very smoothly, very humanly we do the things, mm -hmm. and all the journey today is complete while you visited. And I thank you very much for one very important thing. What's that? Today is the end of the journey, of that journey. Our collectors are loyal. They stay years and decades. But you have been to see the heart of this house, the facility, the artisans, with these 43 different skills, only to do 1,000 movements per year. So thank you very much also. My pleasure. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. <laughs> when you've made it, you're successful. You no longer want what everybody has. I'm already starting to reach that point myself without the wealth part. You want something unique. You want something that tells your story. And for me, you know, I want something that embodies classical Swiss watchmaking. This is the thing that has hooked me and dominates my every day. So, are you like me? If you are, let's, let's hug it out. We love watches, and I think I understand where Bobo fits in.